Hello children, again we are going to continue the same lesson as its basis and solves. In the previous session, I mean in part uh, uh, 7, we have discussed about bleaching powder, method of preparation of bleaching powder, its uses, uh, also baking soda, uh, method of preparation of baking soda uh, and its uses. Uh, also, we discussed how do baking powder and baking soda react to make the cakes or the food items soft and spongy. Okay. So, today we are going to continue with two more salts which are uh, washing soda and plaster of Paris. Okay. So, let us begin with washing soda. Washing soda. Okay. Now, washing soda is having a chemical formula Na2CO3 okay, dot 10H2. Now, maybe you have a doubt, what is this 10H2O? In a chemical formula, how can uh, water molecules come within? So, do not worry, these type of salts are there having some content, some molecules of water within the structure. Okay. These uh, water molecules are called hydrated salts, hydrated salts okay. and this water molecule present along with their chemical formula is called water of crystallization. Okay. So, I will uh, explain what is water of crystallization at the end of this video. All right. Now, the chemical formula of washing soda is Na2CO3 dot 10H2O and you can uh, read it as sodium carbonate deca, deca means 10, deca hydrate, hydrate water content, deca hydrate, sodium carbonate deca hydrate. Okay. Now, let us check how we can prepare washing soda. Okay. So, in the previous session, we have discussed one reaction, heating of baking soda. Do you remember? So, what was the products? What are the products produced when washing soda, sorry, baking soda is heated? Let us check. This is the chemical reaction. What is baking soda? NaHCO3 sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate. Okay. When baking soda is heated, what is this triangle? Triangle indicates heat. Okay. Three products are formed Na2CO3 sodium carbonate plus carbon dioxide plus water. So, I told you in the reaction of baking soda this carbon dioxide will trap inside the cake mixture and which makes the cake soft and spongy. I hope you remember it. Okay. Here, what is the product here? Sodium carbonate, right? This sodium carbonate, when kept opened, okay, it will absorb 10 water molecules, okay. This is called a recrystallization, okay, recrystallization. So, what will happen? It will become Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O, which is washing soda, washing soda, okay. This is the method of preparation of washing soda. How? From sodium hydrogen carbonate, baking soda, when it is heated, we will get sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide and water. So, when sodium carbonate uh, will absorb 10 H2O molecules and will be become washing soda or sodium carbonate decahydrate. Now, let us uh, discuss about the uses of washing soda. Okay? So, the uses of washing soda. Okay, the uses right uses of washing soda number one as you know already washing soda is used as a cleaning agent for 
uh, uh, for homes I mean in domestic purposes it is used as a cleaning agent ok first use is cleaning agent cleaning agent in uh, homes or for domestic purposes ok second uses it is used in glass paper and soap industries ok so it is it is a reagent for making glass soap and also paper ok so it is a used in uh, making or you can simply write glass paper and soap industries industries it is used as a reagent in glass paper and soap industries the third use is washing soda is used to make many sodium compounds ok so it is used for used to make to make many sodium compounds I will tell you one example compounds like borax ok now what is borax borax is actually sodium compound ok which is sodium tetra borate which is used for uh, making pesticides also like cleaning uh, purposes uh, then what else uh, making uh, fungicide etc a lot of uses are there for borax ok now the fourth use is ok to remove the permanent hardness of water washing soda can be used ok what is that to remove to remove the permanent hardness I will tell you what is permanent hardness permanent hardness of water ok uh, washing soda can be used now let us think about what is permanent hardness permanent hardness means hard water is there soft water is there what is hard water normal water is soft water now uh, what is hard water when magnesium or calcium uh, salts like magnesium chloride calcium chloride magnesium sulfate calcium sulfate are dissolved in water it will become the water will that water will become hard ok what is hard water when uh, magnesium or calcium salts like magnesium chloride calcium chloride magnesium sulfate calcium sulfate calcium bicarbonate etc when dissolve in uh, water it will make hardness for water what will happen if uh, water become hard the soap will not uh, make any lather in that ok so will not form you understood so that is called permanent water so to remove that one we can treat hard water with washing soda hope it is very clear to you now let us move to plaster of Paris ok next one is plaster of Paris plaster of Paris Okay. Plaster of Paris is having a chemical formula CaSO4. What is that? Calcium sulfate dot. Again, water of crystallization is here. Half H2. Okay. Now the name is calcium sulfate. Okay. Now in uh, to represent half, we can say hemi maybe you have heard hemisphere half sphere right so hemi hydrate ok calcium sulfate hemi hydrate now maybe you have a doubt how half part of H2O can be attached to one uh, salt or one molecule so uh, do not worry actually two calcium calcium sulfate two molecules 
आर शेयरिंग वन कैल्शियम टू मोलिक्यूल्स आर शेयरिंग वन मोलिक्यूल ऑफ वाटर ओके दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ओके टू कैल्शियम सल्फेट मोलिक्यूल्स आर शेयरिंग वन वाटर मोलिक्यूल सो वेन वी राइट ओनली वन पार्ट वॉट वील डू जस्ट मेक इट हाफ सी एस ऑफ फोर डॉट हाफ एच टू दिस इज फॉर द राइटिंग आई मीन केमिकल फॉर्मुला पर्पस ओनली दैट पर्पस ओनली राइट टू राइट द केमिकल फॉर्मुला वी आर यूजिंग सी एस ऑफ ओ डॉट हाफ एच टू ओके हेमी कैल्शियम सल्फेट हेमी हाइड्रेट ओके नाउ लेट्स चेक द मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ प्लास्ट ऑफ पैरिस मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन प्रिपरेशन ओके नाउ मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ प्लास्ट ऑफ पैरिस इज वेन जिप्सम अनदर कॉम्पाउंड ऑफ कैल्शियम सल्फेट हैविंग ए केमिकल फॉर्मुला सी ए एस ऑफ डॉट टू एच टू What is this? Gypsum. Gypsum is a hard mass. Okay. CaSO4 dot 2H2. The chemical formula. When it is heated, gypsum is heated at 373 Kelvin. What is 373 Kelvin? 100 degree Celsius. What is the connection? What is the connection between degree Celsius and Kelvin? In class nine, you have learned. Zero uh, degree Celsius is equal to two seventy three uh, Kelvin, right? So three seventy three means here hundred degree will come. So when water, water is a water is attached here. So you have to if water has to be evaporated, you have to boil hundred degree at hundred degree Celsius. So what will happen? This will become plaster of Paris. Okay, calcium sulfate. Hemi hydrate plus one and half H two O. Don't worry about one and half. I told you already. Calcium gypsum. The structure of molecule is two calcium sulfate molecules are sharing uh, one molecule of water. Okay, so definitely two molecules will be here and three molecules of water will be produced. Okay, so don't worry about that. What is one and half H two O? All right. now this is what is this name calcium sulfate dihydrate okay dihydrate di di means to calcium sulfate i am not writing calcium sulfate dihydrate clear okay now what are the uses of plaster of paris uses of plaster of paris so the method of preparation what is that when gypsum is heated at 100 degree celsius you will get plaster of paris now what are the uses okay when you go to a bone fracture when you go to a doctor what he will do he will put a strong a hard mass bandage on your arm okay where the bone is fractured what is that it is plaster of paris okay so one use is to uh, make bandage for fractured bones so as it is a very hard mass you can you cannot move your uh, hand uh, properly i mean hand uh, uh, unwontedly so your uh, bones will join very quickly that is why a strong uh, bandage is put on your uh, arm okay then the next one is to make toys okay to make toys plaster of paris is make, uh, used to make toys uh, decorative items decorative items etc okay these are the uses of plaster of paris now there is a one more point how does the name come from where the name of uh, i mean the name of the salt plaster of paris is derived actually uh, gypsum gypsum a collection a rock of uh, a collection of gypsum is uh, found 
in Paris, uh, one hill, Montmartre Hill. I'm not sure whether the pronunciation is Montmartre. Martre. It's a, it's a name of a hill in Paris. It's a hill, okay, which is located at Paris. So, the name is derived from this hill, okay, a collection, a, a lot of deposits of gypsum is found there. That is why the name is uh, Plaster of Paris, clear? Now, let us move to what is water of crystallization. As I already told you, we will discuss at the end of this video, water of crystallization, okay. Now, let us discuss about water of crystallization, okay. You have learned a lot of uh, examples, not lot of examples, some of examples like washing soda Na2, CO3 dot 10 H2O, another example uh, uh, gypsum, okay, uh, another one plaster of Paris, I will write some more, copper sulphate is having a molecular uh, formula. CSO4.5 H2O, another one barium chloride, barium chloride is having a molecular formula BaCl2.2 H2O. So, these are salts with water of crystallization, okay. So, do not think that these salts are wet in nature, actually they are dry salts, but water of crystallization uh, in most of the cases give gives the salt a color. For example, copper sulphate, okay. What is the color of copper sulphate? Blue color, blue. So, when copper sulphate is heated in a test tube, suppose you have taken a test tube and you have taken copper sulphate, blue colored copper sulphate and you are heating it, okay. What will happen? Water of crystallization, the water content will uh, get to start to evaporate, okay. So, it will become, it will become copper sulphate, CuSO4. So, you can, uh, what change uh, do you watch? What is the observation? The observation is the blue colored copper sulphate will turn into white color, okay. Now, suppose you are adding some, one, one drop of water into that, okay. What will happen? Again, that white color copper sulphate will change, recrystallization will occur and it will change uh, the color to blue again. You understood? So, here water of crystallization is not making the salts wet, okay. Now, let us try to define what is water of crystallization. Water is, water of crystallization is a fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit of a salt. What is that? It should be a fixed number. For washing soda, it is 10 only, okay. That number will not change. It is a fixed number. So, water of crystallization is a fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit of a compound, okay. Is that clear? One formula unit of a salt. Is that clear to you? Okay. Now, water of crystallization is also over. The whole chapter, the second chapter is over.